In the last lesson, we found the charge on the capacitor as a function of time after the switch goes to A. Now let's find the charging current as a function of time. During charging, the current equals to dq dt. So we just have to take the time derivative of this. Ce is a constant coefficient, so we can just keep the Ce right here. And then for these two terms, we will take the derivative one term at a time. When we take derivative of one, we take derivative of a constant, we get zero. And then we have to take derivative of this part. And that goes here. To take the time derivative of this exponential decay, e to the negative t over rc, we can use the equation d e to the x dx equals to e to the x. But to use this, we have to make sure that these two are exactly the same. But right now, those two are not exactly the same. So we have to use chain rule. We want this part to be exactly the same as this, so let's first start with uh, this. Make sure that this is the same as uh, what's here. But now, of course, these two are not the same. To make them equal, we have to multiply this by d negative two t over r c d t. So it's kind of like these two they cancel. So this is exactly the same as that. And this is the chain rule. So now we have d e to the x d x. So this part is e to the x. And then this part, we have negative 1 over rc. That is the constant coefficient. So we can put it over here. And then take the derivative dt dt, which is 1. So this is supposed to be the time derivative of this term, which is this right here. So I'm going to put the negative 1 over rc times this exponential decay, e to the negative t over rc. This is 0, so it's gone. And then negative times negative, we can cancel that. And then we have ce divided by rc, so the c's would cancel. So what we get is e divided by r times the exponential decay, e to the negative t over rc. So we get the current as a function of time is this exponential decay. And what is this? This is the initial current. We can plot the charge as a function of time graph. It is a 1 minus exponential decay graph. And C times E is the final charge on the plates. The current as a function of time graph is an exponential decay with an initial value that is E over R. When the switch is at A, R and C are in series, so they have to share the total voltage E. Initially, there's no charge on the capacitor, so the capacitor gets no voltage. So all the total voltage E belongs to the resistor. So the resistor has a current that is V over R. At the end, when the capacitor becomes fully charged, there will be no more charging current flow through the resistor. So the voltage across the resistor I times R is zero. That means the capacitor gets all of the voltage E. That's why the charge on the capacitor Q equals to CV. Another thing is that since I equals to dQ dt, that means dQ equals to I dt. So Q would equal to the integral of dQ, which is the integral of I dt. And we can plug in the current as a function of time. So this is the integral of E over R 
the exponential decay dt. The charging process goes from t equals to 0 to infinity. So if we carry out this integral and uh, apply the bounds, we should get the total charge on the plates in the end. So it should end up being the final charge, which is uh, C times E. And this final charge, C times E, is also the initial current times the time constant. The initial current E over R times the time constant RC. See, the R's cancel, and we get C times E. So this is another special thing about the time constant. If the current stays the same at the initial value for one time constant, 1RC, the total charge going by would equal to the final charge on the capacitor. We can also say that charge is the area of the current as a function of time graph. So this means uh, this total area under this graph equals to the area of this rectangle with a height of initial current and the width one time constant.